what's going on you guys so another video this is for the Dell Optiplex 5000 and uh, for the 7000 uh, this would be all one video for the small form factor and basically the 5000 and 7000 they look the same it's just the only difference is the motherboard uh, the 7000 using the three display ports but uh, everything else is the same so what I'm going to do is lay this down and so what you guys need is a uh, Phillips head, flat head, and this is a smaller mini Phillips head screwdriver. And what I'll do is I'm going to move the side cover panel. I'm just going to press this down like this and slide it to the left. And first what I'll do is move the front cover plastic. Now, I'm going to disconnect the hard drive. So I'm going to move the SATA and power cable. It's a Tula's design, a plastic, plastic caddy. And you're gonna, if you're going to try to move the, this, hard, this hard drive cage right here with the optical drive, you're going to press this left right here, unlock it. Lift it up, and I need to take a flathead screwdriver, and it's gonna move the optical. Just connect the stadium power cable. And then when you remove the optical drive, you gotta press this down right here, and it will slide to the right. So right here, let's see this clip. You're gonna press it up like this and it slides out. Now I'll remove the RAM. Disconnect the setting power cable from the motherboard. So you guys were asking me like what's the difference the 7000 or the 5000 model? It's basically the motherboard looks the same, it has a four memory slots, so it will take up to 128 gigs of RAM, that's 32 gig. 32 gigs of RAM per each slot. And the difference is it's running a different motherboard one, another display port. And I know the 7090 is a totally little bit different also motherboard. And basically the 7000 Optiplex and the 5000 are running the maximum you can go with a i7 12th gen CPU. And the power supply is a 260 watt, but it, it, there you can upgrade to up maximum 300 watt on a small form factor. So what I'll do now, I'm gonna disconnect the CPU fan. Now, okay, in the front here, there's another right here. I'm gonna remove this plate here in the front. See that? Now, what I'll do is I'm gonna go on the back side, move the video card, lift this up, and I'm gonna press this like this, see this little tab, I'll lock, and I'm gonna pull the video card like this. So the top one is uh, PCI Express, times four, the bottom one is PCI Express times 16, the blue slot right here. So I do recommend installing the video card through here, the blue one. Now, what I will do, I'm gonna remove the SSD, 2280 M.2. And you will require to use a mini screwdriver Phillips head to remove the screw here. to the right 
And you're gonna move the screw here, another one here. It's on the motherboard. Now, what I will do is I'm gonna go in the back again and move the power supply and the three screws here. in the front again and disconnect our internal speaker it's got a motherboard okay so it's connected another see the cpu power here it's got two basically eight pin each one is four pin and one here looks like an eight pin yeah Move this out. Disconnect this right here. Lump. Looks like a plate here. Again, little front. I'm gonna disconnect. This is for the, okay, this is played actually for the hard drive cage. And this locks in, unlocks, okay. We got this connected. Now we'll take a flathead screwdriver. Uh, see this power supply here? I'm gonna try to go like this, lift it up. Remove the wire. Supply. So the power supply here, guys, is a 260 watt, but you can upgrade the small phone factor up to 300 watts. So now, what I will do is I will disconnect the CPU heatsink cooler. Take a Taking a Phillips head, screwdriver. So it's got two screws on the top, two in the bottom. And uh, it's actually four wire. The fan is a four wire, four pin. Now, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the internal speaker here. And it's got a clip here in the front. So you're gonna lift it up like this. You can see that right here. This is gonna, gonna go straight up like this. You press on this right here, the clip, and you lift it. Internal speaker. This is gonna go like that. Take this out. Now, what I will do is I'm gonna leave the CPU in the motherboard, and it'll be the last part. And when I pull the motherboard out, I'm gonna move the CPU. Before I do that, I'm gonna take a rubbing alcohol, 91%, um, and you're gonna take a paper towel and you're gonna wipe out the thermal compound from the CPU.
and the CPU installed here, guys, is a i7-12700, 12 gen. I think this is the maximum you can go on a 5000 Optiplex or the 7000. Now, what I will do is, I'm gonna disconnect this. Okay, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna take the, my Phillips head screwdriver. I'm gonna start from the bottom. So there are one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Look like five screws you have to remove before you pull the motherboard out. Guys, I'm using left hand because so you guys can see the view better because if I use the right hand, it'll be blocking the view. Now I'm gonna go in the front here again. Here's the power switch in the corner you have to remove. Pull the motherboard out. So lift it up like this. So here's the motherboard. It's like a micro ATX, but a little bit wider in the side. Here's the back side. So what we'll do be the last part is remove the CPU. Just pull it out like this. So guys, here's the motherboard. There's a battery socket, here's a power switch. Four RAM, it has total four memory slots. You can go maximum uh, 128 gigs, DDR4, that's 32 gig per each slot. It's got total of three SATA ports here. This is M.2 for the wireless right here. And this is for the M.2 right here for the SSD. Either 2230 or you can go 2280. See you guys, let me be the last part is remove the power switch here. I'll lift it up like this. You take a flat screwdriver, it comes out. Here's the power switch and power LED. See you guys at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.